Good morning, my name is Steven. And I'm Jalen. And today is day one, boarding day of Freedom of the Seas. 154,000 tons, 4,500 guests aboard. This is a Freedom Class ship. I have never done a Freedom Class ship. Jalen, have you ever even done Royal? I've never done Royal before. This will be my very first Royal Caribbean cruise. I am so excited. Steven always talks up about it because he is loyal to Royal. It is his favorite line. My favorite cruise line, I am a Diamond member, the highest status that I am on any cruise line. Royal Caribbean, Diamond status, oh man. Now I have never personally done a Freedom Class. I know it's a bigger, better version of the Voyager Class, which I'm used to with Navigator of the Seas. I've been on that ship so many times. So I've heard that it's kind of like that, but just bigger and slightly better, which I'm always for. I'm excited to get aboard. It's currently 10 o'clock. This is our second series in our Miami overall series. We've been here already for five nights. We haven't been here in Miami, but we have came aboard on the Celebrity Summit last. We were just aboard. We walked all the way over, found a bus actually, that was nice enough to take yes. us over here. He was so, he was so, so kind. So nice. Then we walked one more block over and yes, welcome to Miami. Terminal A, Royal Caribbean's best terminal ever on one of Royal Caribbean's best, former large cruise ship. So let's go ahead and get aboard this beautiful ship. Jalen, are you excited? I'm so excited. Let's get this party started. So just a heads up, if you're ever doing a side-by-side -side like us in Miami, you are gonna wanna know what terminals you're gonna be at in advance. So we actually came from Terminal G, which is the opposite side of, well, Miami, the Port of Miami. If you don't know, Port of Miami is lined up ship by ship by ship by ship. All one, long ways. One nose to the tail, pretty much, and it goes all the way down. So if you find it hard to walk from the, the forward to the aft of one ship, imagine doing that for seven. Seven, <laughs> seven of those. So we were lucky enough to find a shuttle. They do run complimentary courtesy shuttles between some of the terminals. They don't all run from A to G like that one. So we had to take one from G to B and we walked the rest of the way. So we were lucky enough not to have to walk all that way. But if you're here, just know there are shuttles and we're gonna do another back to back at the end of this. So we'll talk more about that the next voyage as well. Let's yeah. just get aboard. I'm Let's sorry go. to distract Let's you go. with it. But make sure to check out Celebrity Summit. Ooh, Ooh. fancy escalators and Look propellers. Or yeah, as he paused actually. That's so cool. All right, after a solid half an hour, we are finally starting the boarding process. Yay, I'm so excited. And we just gotta go into this mess and scan our C-Pass. Oh, well, our code on our phones, because we don't actually have our C-Pass cards yet. We're through, we have scanned the set sail, and now we're walking over to the ship. Yes. I'm so excited. If you didn't know, we do have matching Royal Caribbean shirts, so we keep getting complimented by all the peer agents. Oh, they're so nice here. <laughs> Anyways, we're finally on our way down. Let's go. First steps on Freedom of the Seas. Jalen's first steps, that is. I'm finally on a royal ship. Sorry, I had to jump on too. We are finally on Freedom of the Seas. Both of our first times. My first ever royal ship. Let's go. We're so excited. Like always, we gotta start with the safety. And they really start you off right away. Like you step on the ship, you get scanned in. I think that I'm starting to get too used to cruises because they're all just kind of like, I don't know. ships. <laughs> I wanna go in here though. Yeah. Really staircase. So I gotta warn you in advance, Royal Caribbean's not like every other ship we've been on. There is no center atrium. We have something even cooler in my opinion. What is that? Let's go up these stairs and find out. Oh, that's right, the promenade. That's what this place is called. It's like a city in here, you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> this place is awesome. It literally is like a city, you guys. I don't, I, I have no words. I'm just, I want to go in everything right now. Like. Like as if I was walking the strip of a downtown and just wanted to walk into every single shop I see. The teddy bears are in the car. <laughs> Good way to keep people out. I remember seeing that on YouTube, I think. Look, guys, look everyone. I have been going on so many other cruises. We've done Princess, we've done Carnival, we've done Celebrity. It's been a little bit since I've been on Royal. Royal Caribbean to me is home. Walking into the promenade is like, it's just a breath of fresh air that I am, so familiar with. I love it. Like, I, there's just such a different energy walking on board Royal Caribbean that I don't feel like you feel on any other cruise line out there at all. 
Oh, this is awesome. This is a completely change up. Like, Slayer Video this was fantastic. Is... Like, don't get me wrong, Slayer Video's fantastic. All the other cruise lines are great. But, like, this is home to me, and, like, I don't know how to explain that feeling of coming home. Everything else was so, like, underwhelming compared to this. Yeah. Like, even, even when we walked on, because we walked on right below this, and I was like, okay, like, you know, it looks like every other cruise ship inside, and she was like, no, go up the stairs. I have never experienced anything like this in my life. <laughs> this is I not like not. any other cruise ship. The promenade is so home to me, but it's so different for Jalen, and I love being able to share the experience. I'm literally tearing up because this is just so amazing. <laughs> oh, man. Welcome home. Welcome to my home. This feels, I've never been on this ship, but it feels like home. It does. Why have you never taken me on Royal? <laughs> okay, so we actually went over and went to the dining room to talk to the especially restaurant's manager. Actually, I don't know what position he is, but he took care of all of our stuff, especially restaurants. We have the unlimited dining package for the entire cruise, which we'll do another separate video talking about specifically all the food that we've done. Mm -hmm. I've never done a dining package before. I've only been in Chops like maybe twice in my entire life and all my different Royal Caribbean cruises, so this is going to be a new experience. So we're walking to Playmakers right now and we're going to try this and see what that's about. Okay, so we made it to Playmakers and our server kind of explained to us how the dining package works. So each of us gets a $20 credit for the day, but we can't split that credit into two meals. So like I can't spend $10 of my credit now and $10 for dinner. I have to spend all 20 at once per day. But if the two of us stay within the $20, he can put us both on one account. So like lunch today is on Steven's account. And then if we want to come back later for dinner or a snack, we can just put it on my account. So basically the credit is a one-time use. Yes. And if you use 15 or 20 of it, that's it. That's Doesn't it. matter. So, so use all 20. Yes, but you're able to kind of combine yours together as far as um, we can both be on the on a single of the $20, if yes. that makes sense. So I got wings for $10 and what did you get? I got sliders for $7. So that's all being charged to Steven's account. And then later, if we come back, we'll still have my $20 to spend here. Exactly. Bingo, we got it. All figured out. Royal Caribbean, we love it. We, we're getting, we're becoming professionals. Yes. <laughs> Alright, our first meal in the Playmakers is, well for me, is wings. I love wings. And they were non dairy, of course. He checked. It makes me so happy. I was worried I couldn't have them. I guess I should re-explain this every cruise line. Jalen and I are both allergic to dairy. We cannot do it. She's also allergic to peanuts and strawberries, so... I don't, we, we don't talk about it as much, but she's also lived through those things as well. So like to us, cruising is really difficult sometimes because we have to always be aware of our allergies. Every single cruise line, it's a new challenge. Sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's harder. So I'm glad that immediately in Playmakers, he's like, allergy? Perfect. Like he just he took it down and he ran it, he asked, he came back immediately, told us what we couldn't do, what we could do, and which most of it was all good actually. So we'll talk about Jalen's modification to her menu or her order. But wings are just as natural as they come, just no ranch or blue cheese, which I don't like those things anyway, even if I could have it. So let's see, buffalo wings. These are medium spice, because I'm not too crazy for hot, and I'm not too wimpy for not hot. These are pretty solid wings. I think they compete pretty well with wing stuff. And I'll just leave it at that. I just love wings. I'm biased, though. Okay, so I originally had ordered the barbecue um, pulled pork slider, but unfortunately the bread did have dairy in it. However, um, I asked if he could substitute it for fries. So what he did was he brought me basically a side of fries with a side of the, the pulled pork so I can put it on my fries. I am so excited for this. It looks so good. I'm just gonna... Ooh. Mm. That's it. We're eating here every day. That pulled pork is so tender and juicy. So juicy. Combined with the fries, which are at a perfect crisp and seasoned beautifully. I know this isn't even a real meal, but it is to me. This is so good. Welcome to the pool deck. We finished with Playmakers and decided Let's hit the deck. First thoughts. What are the little houses up there? Those are casitas. Those cost extra, like lots of money extra. Oh, lame. This is cool though. Oh no, this is like the little kitty area. Am I allowed to play here without a kid? I, you know, I really don't actually have an answer for that. 
We'll find out for you guys, because I know you want to know. Not just because I want to know. Ooh, what's that over there? For some odd reason, we walked into the spa in the front of the ship. <laughs> well, actually, it's not the spa, the fitness the area. Fitness Vitality center. Fitness. This is definitely oh. the biggest fitness center I've ever seen. Not that I'm going to be utilizing it, because we're uh, all buffet, no uh, exercise. But... This is definitely a, a nice place to work out if you are into that. Look at, there's already some people um, testing out the treadmill. They go on vacation and go straight to work. Couldn't be me. We have found ourselves to the cabin. So we're gonna set down our stuff real quick. Oh no, spoiler, spoiler, don't look, don't look, don't, don't look, look. Don't it's a spoiler, it's a don't spoiler. Ah, eyes closed, ah, eyes closed. Ah. I can't see, I can't see. All right, we got our cards and I am a diamond men member already of the, the Crown and Anchor. I know, I'm so cool. I must have gone on so many of these cruises before. Definitely didn't just steal my loyalty status. Definitely did not just steal Steven's loyalty status. That would not be cool, would it? I mean, I guess if you're ever on board Freedom of the Seas and you're looking for the Diamond Lounge, it's uh, right over there. It's in, well, this is not called the Cosmopolitan. That's what it's called on Navigator, what I'm used to. This is called the Olive Ore Twist, martini themed. This is otherwise known as the Viking Crown Lounge, but they call it the Olive Ore Twist. There's gonna be venues here, like different activities. I know they hold some trivias here. I think this is where the nightclub takes place. It's uh, really small though. It is kind of a smaller place. It feels almost the same size as Navigator and Freedom is supposed to be a bigger class. I'm comparing everything to Navigator because that's what I'm super familiar to because that's a ship that's home to me in Los Angeles. And the ship is very similar to it, only larger. Yeah, it, basically everything feels almost exactly the same. It's just bigger. Like, it looks the same, it feels the same, it's just slightly different. Maybe things aren't in the same exact spot, but certainly it all feels very familiar to me. Like, every single venue. I mean, that's, that's kind of how Royal Caribbean is, like from from ship to ship, they try to make things feel kind of like, you know, holy Royal Caribbean, so that way if you go on a different ship, it always feels like home to you. But certainly I feel like Freedom Class and Voyager Class, you know, those two classes of ships are like very, very close to each other. And I feel like the only difference between them is that one's slightly bigger, which is Freedom Class, because it's a newer class, and it was, you know, the biggest cruise ship in the world until Oasis Class came in. Which is also Royal. Yeah, which is also Royal Caribbean. You know, shout out to Royal Caribbean. Also Voyager like Class. They to, to stay on top well, of Voyager record. Class was also the largest cruise ship in the world too when it first came out. So like, they always are just trying to like top themselves. It's like, they don't it, want someone else to top them. I don't so think anyone else themselves. is even in the running anymore. Like, it's been a while since anyone else has held the crown. So yeah, Royal Caribbean always topping themselves. Anyways, I don't know what we're doing. We're just trying to wait for our cabin because, well, it wasn't ready when we went in, so we got our cards and just went to the Diamond Lounge. And put our backpacks on. Yeah, which that was the bigger thing. But we don't want to explore more until we can go back to the cabin. So we we're put just... on sunscreen because this girl right here burns within three minutes of being in the sun. Yeah. I just needed to set my bag down for a couple of minutes. That's that moment when we sat down. Next thing I knew. Burned in a couple minutes. Already burnt. Kind of forgot about that. Yeah. Whoops. So sunscreen before we go outside again. It is Miami. I shouldn't so. even be in here. There's too many windows. <laughs> also because we're curious, we wanted to see what the, the skylight meeting room was. I think it's probably just meeting rooms. Is it only meant to you know, be open? Oh, it's like a chapel. Like a place to do church or, I mean, not the nicest place to get married, but I suppose that place too. Or hold meetings. Legit? Yeah. I thought it was a legit, just a meeting room. Oh yeah. I mean, there's chairs, there's a table with some chairs behind it. It looks like, you know, the people who are running the meeting up there, people who are in the meeting down here. But yeah, I guess this could be like a chapel. I don't know. I don't know, does Royal Caribbean do weddings? They do, I assume. I wouldn't want to get married in this room. No offense to this room, but like... Uh-oh, we're buying stuff. But actually it's a lanyard because... Well... Well, it was only like $10. The ones on that table were like 20 <laughs> Yeah, make us look at the expensive ones first and we get to this yeah, one. Like, so oh, okay, that's a better idea. Well, okay, on the last cruise we were having issues because I have nowhere to clip it. Eight, six, two, nine. 
um, because I don't have anywhere to clip it on because we have a clip on one. So I'm clipping it onto my spandex, but then I gotta like get under my dress to get it. Where your ticket Perfect. So this is much easier. Back to the cabin, take two. Wow, this is my first time seeing the state room. Whoa. Okay, but this is the best part. Are we ready? Ooh, I can see people. That's kind of creepy, actually. It's not the clearest window in the world, but I kind of don't want it to be the clearest window in the world. Yeah. So, good enough for Also, me. I do just want to say, kind of like grandma vibes in here. Do you feel that? Like the carpet, the couches, the skirt on the bed, the, even the curtains. It's just like, I don't know if it's the colors or what. It's totally like grandma vibes in here. You know the drill, it's time for a 60 second room tour. Let's start in three, two, one. As we start at the beginning, of course, we always have the same safety stuff right behind on the main door. Then we go over to the left and there's your closet space, hangers, some shelves. It's a cool little walk-in area so you can just roll your suitcase right on in. Then over on the opposite side, there is the bathroom with your shower which is a little tight definitely like you're kind of crap there's not much room in here don't expect much room in the shower toilet sink cups this mirror does open very inconvenient though doesn't really fit many things in towels over there often the main part is the television which is off right now beds do split into two they convert from a queen to a two twin and very comfy then there's chairs over here chairs over there a nice vanity with some mirror sets and you can open that over there which puts absolutely nothing in there information cookies there's two outlets over there mini fridge another couch oh i think we already talked about the couch and here is the main view look at that and time that had to have been way under 60 seconds i see a minute 12. i don't know how when we actually started but i think we did pretty good yeah i think that was actually right on time did we, catch, did we catch everything Go ahead and check out our full room tour link down below to see if we missed it anything. Yes. But if you don't know, <laughs> for those of you new to the channel, we do 60 second room tours because room tours can be a little boring, especially when you want to go into major detail. So we have a full review, a full tour on the channel. Check out that video if you're interested. But if not, stay right here because there's more to come aboard Freedom of the Seas. Ooh, I forgot. It's Monday. It is? Oh, it is. Ooh, fancy. And they have the weird touch screen elevators. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of them. It's so weird because it's like they have like high tech touch screen elevators, but then a carpeted elevator, which is like weird and I feel like older. Interesting how that works. Yeah. We did also make it over to the sail away party, but it's really crowded and we're kind of late. But everyone's happy to sail away and that's the most important part about it. Celebrity Summit's leaving us. We missed the ship. Wait. Oh, oh, wait, we're on Freedom of the Seas now. We're not actually on Celebrity Summit. Oh my gosh. I got confused for a second. I thought that ship, which we were on like literally 12 hours ago, was our ship. But no, it's not our ship. This is what's called a side-by-side, -side, where you go from one ship and you go right beside it to another ship. And that's what we did. Yeah, that was a far trip, but that's okay. We're here anyways. Is this the only side-by-side -side we're doing? But is this the only side-by-side -side that we're doing? I don't think so. Be sure to check out for more. Possibly come in very soon after this series. Anyways, we just wanted to say bye to Celebrity Summit because we did spend five nights on that ship. And while it wasn't the best experience that we've ever had and it could have been better, it check was. Check out those videos to learn more. It was where we were housed for five days and we were happy. And we had Both fun. Well. We had a great time. Nothing about it. I, I mean, had a drink package. Celebrity <laughs> Royal Caribbean, they are sister brands. They work together. You know, you go on Royal from Celebrity, or you go on Celebrity from Royal, or you go on Royal, oh my gosh, you go on Royal from Celebrity, or you go on Celebrity from Royal. Either way, they'll status match you, they'll take care of you, and treat you as as if they're the, your own, or they're your, you're their own. I don't know how this is working. I'm a little the confused there. The point is, is that they are partnered with Royal. Yeah, so this is, it was, so a, it was cool. a cool experience. Check out that video. Check out all the videos if you're interested. But I just, I don't know. And we saw it going by and we had to say goodbye. We uh, did see Sail Away for a few moments. It wasn't as exciting as was, we were hoping for. I mean, Celebrity didn't have any Sail Away party. 
So, you know, like... It was a step up. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it was cool, but it was there just... There was dancing, like, line dancing, dancing in music, the and it was, it was... It was good. One I mean, of the more underwhelming ones, though. Yeah, it's certainly not the But we only experienced exciting. the tail end. Yeah. So, anyways, now we are going to go talk to our... No, now we're going to go up to the sports deck, because we're, we're going after the, the ship. Deck. We're going up to the sports deck. Deck 13. Unlucky deck. But a deck, but nevertheless. Taylor Swift's lucky number. That's true. Anyway, let's go I see. The, let's go see the sports court. Ooh, a flow rider. I'm gonna split it in half. They're running two sides boogie boarding. Dude, we didn't bring our swim trunks to do it in advance, but we didn't want to do it because we're a little sunburned. This looks terrifying. Oh, well, I thought that's a complete option. Actually, I thought what she was gonna have. So one thing we want to talk about is the water slides. There is a huge line. Look at it all the way up there is the top. There is a line down there. One person per slide and it takes quite a while. Slides don't look as amazing though as other ships, but they are you slides. You seeing some people like get stuck. Like they were like scooping along. Yeah, so I don't know if we will actually take time to try these slides out, but. This flow rider looks terrifying. Yeah, we'll see if we get Jalen on Flow Rider. We'll try. I'll try it. But I'll probably break an arm in the process. But of course, on the sports deck, there is actually just a sports court, like your basketball. They do pickleball up here. I'm sure they do tennis or something. I don't know. Then up there is uh, rock climbing, which Jalen's excited for. I want to do that. I'm so excited. Maybe a different day, not tonight. We'll see. As um, Diamond Club members, we get our special lounge, which also comes with snacks. So because it's um, cocktail hour, we have a bunch of little, like, what are they, hors d'oeuvres? Yep. Um, so we got like, some fried shrimp, some fruit, uh, some smoked salmon, and of course a roll because I love bread. <laughs> um, We'll dig right in and we'll let you know how it tastes later. Just really quickly, look at this ship. I'm not see the Vina. That looks like an interesting ship. Like, I could see myself going on that ship. Yeah, I'd like to experience that someday. I'd like to experience it someday. Yeah, it'd be fun to go on one day. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe someday. Hmm. hmm. Intent. Anyways. <laughs> Intent. <laughs> Look, I just wanted to come down to the open deck on deck four just to say goodbye to Miami one more time. It has been a beautiful port to visit. We love, love Miami. Man, I don't know who he's telling to stop or if he's saying hi, but... Oh, they're leaving us. Bye. Love Miami. Cruising capital of the world. The Royal Caribbean's largest cruise terminal. I, the, I think it's the largest U.S. terminal in the world. Um, it was a phenomenal terminal. I'm so happy that we went through it. I was super excited. Super excited to be aboard Freedom of the Seas. It just feels like home to me. And uh, it's slowly becoming home to Jalen. <laughs> we're now leaving Miami. and We're excited to be on this ship for four days. Coco K tomorrow. Day at sea after that. And Nassau to close out before we come back to Miami and have to get off, which that's so far away. Let's not even talk about that. We are so far away before we see Miami again, and I'm excited for it. Four beautiful days. We're gonna be heading off to Chops for dinner, our first dining experience, specialty dining room, on our specialty dining unlimited package that we're doing. I am already full, this is not off to a good start. <laughs> Playmakers was filling, it was great, I'm happy. We're probably gonna go back for another snack later. If I can stomach it. You don't need to know that. <laughs> Anyways, let's head on to dinner, but see you real soon, Miami. But not too soon.
Okay, so we have made it back from dinner in Chops. We didn't do any recording because we were really close to people and we didn't want to really disturb them, and mm -hmm. especially restaurant of all places. Maybe in the main dining room are we a little less caring because it's the <laughs> main dining room. But uh, in a specialty restaurant, we paid extra to be in there. We will try to be a little bit more courteous, and we definitely did it this time. So we tried to do facial expressions <laughs> and uh, our reaction of some of the meals that we've had. That was so embarrassing. <laughs> it didn't quite work that out That was worse best. than just talking <laughs> and just disrupting everyone for a minute because our facial expressions were... I don't think anyone was really looking at us, so it's all good God, at I hope the end not. of it. But you get to look at us. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's any better. So anyways... Uh, for appetizer, I decided to order the ahi tuna, which I thought was phenomenal. I think it's one of the best things there. I mean, if you love ahi tuna, fresh ahi tuna of all things, and um, if you like the avocado like tower sort of thing, it's the same thing like on the Disney Fantasy and Dream. Uh, I love it. It was it was oh, so good. It's flavored and seasoned so good, and of course ahi tuna. You can't go wrong with that. Mm -hmm. And for my appetizer, I had gotten the shrimp cocktail. Now this isn't just any regular shrimp cocktail. This was like shrimp cocktail. That thing was huge. And it came with four, but I swear I ate like eight shrimp because yeah. it was so big. <laughs> definitely. It was uh, definitely a highlight. We heard other guests like really enjoy the shrimp yeah. cocktail. So we recommend Ayu Tuna Tower or the shrimp, shrimp cocktail, cocktail, both great sure. options. Uh, then for the main, I went with the ribeye. Well, I will admit it wasn't the better of the two options that we had in the dining room or in the in chops. chops. Uh, but it was still pretty good. If you like ribeye, it's going to be a great option. It's a bigger steak, definitely. So just be prepared for that. Filet is usually a little bit of a smaller meat, but it's a better meat. And that's what Jalen got. Okay, so I got the filet mignon. And let me just say, it was absolutely amazing, tender, juicy, flavorful. I will say it's one of the best filets I have ever had. So tender and it was cooked perfectly and seasoned perfectly and... I don't know. Uh, we also got sides with it. So just as future reference, oh. if you ever go step into Chops, it is going to be shared sides. So whatever mm -hmm. the table orders, that is what you are getting. Uh, it's not just individual, so that kind of does help out. If there's a few of you, you could get a few different things and yeah. try it out. But we just stuck with french fries and mushrooms. We didn't really want anything too healthy. <laughs> uh, the mushrooms went really well with the steak, though, so highly recommend. Then when it comes to dessert, I will say we don't exactly have the best of um, selections when we come to our non-dairy selves. Mm -hmm. So... We did take a, a few shots of the menu. There's some really great suggestions. Uh, the cheesecake is really good from what I've heard. The key lime pie is always a great option. Mm -hmm. And then the chocolate cake. So if you're in the dining room, feel free to get all three. Or Sorry, I keep saying dining room. If you're in Chops, get all three of them. Do it. Yeah, um, the, the gal great. next to us, Scott. I think they got one of everything on the desserts. And, and then they, they took it back to the room. It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they took it back to the room, which they'll do for you if you've eaten too much in Chops. Yes. Don't worry. They, they'll allow you to take it, which I love because most of the time they'll i don't know there's been a couple of times where i've been on a cruise and they're like no you can't take that mm -hmm. yeah I'm so like, chops what is do you mean? chops is all open to you taking desserts uh probably not the main entree but they definitely will allow you to take desserts mm -hmm. at the end of it so that's always a bright side on yes. it uh overall we paid well we paid the dining room package which we caught a really good deal really good it deal. was 90 dollars per person for the entire cruise and we think about it giovanni's and chops are both worth fifty dollars, if not sixty, if you wait on board. So I think we cut it at a good price because all we have to do is one more dining, and we did use twenty dollars in playmakers. So I yeah. feel like we've kind of we've already almost kind of... made up for it. And tomorrow we're gonna knock it out of the park. Trust me. Yeah, I mean, and we could eat at you know chops every night if we wanted. If we really wanted not. to, I don't think we will. We're gonna try to change it up a little for bit. For sure, we obviously want to try but chops everything. Chops was really good. But yes, it, it was so good. And some of the best food we've had in a, quite a few, oh quite a while God. actually. Oh my gosh, let me just say, I'm sorry, but Celebrity did not feed me well. But in I all fairness, this. that we were in a specialty restaurant on Royal. We were in the main dining room That's the entire true. time on Celebrity. That is so Is true. that a fair comparison? I'm not really yes. sure. <laughs> um, so anyways, we're going to go on to whatever else nightly activity is going on. Moving forward, we have the skate show going on in the oh, skate rink. That's tonight. That is tonight. Oh. And then we also have one more thing. It's the Inferno Party, the Sunday's Inferno Party. So that's going to happen out in the promenade. And one question that I have been asking and not really found many answers is what is it like to be in this cabin when they're partying out there? Because like literally right there yeah, the window is right the there. party. It's yeah, so we'll so, see it. I'm we'll see it in a little bit. Curious and nervous. So we might not be going to bed early 
this cruise like we did on the last cruise. So let us know if you like this quick recap of what we did for dinner. We're going to try to do this for this because we're doing specialty restaurants and we don't want to bug people in specialty restaurants. And also because we're going to do a whole overall review of the ultimate dining package and also just specialty restaurants in general. So look out for that video. It's coming sometime soon. Mm -hmm. We came to the Royal Logo Shop and uh, there's no ship models. I need him. I Potentially have no need cruise. no need to showcase any of the other merch because it just doesn't really matter. Well, no good. It's Captain America. I think we're like three ships deep where we have not seen a ship model in a while. Kind of bugs me a lot. Welcome to Studio B, the ice skating rink here. We're going to go ice skating on the sailing, right? Uh, maybe. Right now. Possible. We're, well, we're in the now. show. Oh, yep. Did you rehearse? I don't think I could show that number <laughs> on camera. Just a brick in the wall. Freedom.com skate show in the Studio B lounge, Studio B area. I don't know what I'm saying. Freedom.com. No, I thought it was like skating.com or freedomskate.com or something like that. It's an interesting show. There's a lot of different variety when it comes to the choices of music. I believe like the theme overall is like there's a screen that we didn't really have a good view of because we were a little bit late. But basically, it would search up something and then like that would be what the performance is for that little uh, segment. Uh, it's a definitely a different concept that I've not seen before, but it was enjoyable nevertheless. Not my favorite song choices on out of all these skate shows that I've seen, but still, very good. I do recommend the skaters, were the skaters were phenomenal. They're talented indeed. So I recommend if you have a chance on board, please take a look. It is worth your time indeed. Anyways, now it is time for 70s Inferno Party. So that is going to be on the promenade deck. We're going to also test out and see how our room sounds during that party too, because we're just curious. Okay, so I'm going to be honest, we actually ended up not testing out any of the, uh, the audio or even going to the 70s well, party. no, no, no. We couldn't hear anything from here. Yeah, well, we slept through it. There actually, was, so. no, no, no. There was absolutely zero sound. Like, there, you could not hear the music outside. And so, therefore, we fell asleep instead of going down to the party. So sorry about that. I'm sure it was awesome. Yeah, I'm sure it was great. Not really sure though. We were asleep. But it didn't yes. sound like anything was going on out deck, there. Deck eight, right over the promenade. Like we're right over it. Couldn't, Couldn't hear, hear anything. anything. Not, not a sound. So I guess that's a good thing. Yeah. It is already the next day. So we're going to end this video and start the next video right, right away. Now. Coco K today, or Coco K. In the next video, we're going to do Thrill Water Park and explore Coco K. A perfect day in Coco K for the first time ever. So we're looking forward to it. Make sure to check out that video. Check out goodmorningadventure.com. As always, this isn't a goodbye, but just a I'll see, see you real, real soon. soon.